Hi, beautiful Cancers. I'm here with a general reading for um, the sign of Cancer. This reading could resonate with anyone who has Cancer strongly, um, strongly in their chart. Um, that said, um, we are all different ages. We're all moving through different types of experiences. So from my perspective, it would be um, quite unfeasible to have all Cancer people living the same life template. Um, so please be discerning um, as you listen to this message. I am going to start with the current energy and that will help you um, to, intu to, to intuitively claim this reading or not claim it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and shuffle. If you don't like the shuffling, um, you can forward into the video to where the reading begins. I don't mind that at all, Cancer. All right, let's go ahead and get started in the shuffling process. What is the current energy for this group of Cancer signs? What is the current energy for this group of Cancer signs, please? What is the current energy? What is the current energy for Cancer? What is the current energy for Cancer? What is the current energy, please? What is the current energy? All right, what is Cancer stepping into in the next immediate future? We're looking at the next seven to 10 days, the next couple of weeks, the next three weeks. What is Cancer stepping into in the next immediate incoming period of time? What is Cancer stepping into in the next immediate incoming period of time? I am shuffling off, um, off camera. Um, I'm in a different setting this week and it's not my normal place. So I have short arms. Well, you can hear it and I'll, I'll try to push them forward just a little bit so you can see a little bit of it. What is Cancer stepping into? What is Cancer stepping into? What is Cancer stepping into, please? What is Cancer stepping into in the next immediate time frame? What is Cancer stepping into? Yeah. All right. Guidance for Cancer, please. Guidance for Cancer, please. Guidance for our beautiful Cancer people. Guidance for our beautiful Cancer friends. Guidance, please, for our beautiful Cancer friends. Guidance, please. Guidance, please. Okay. One more. Guidance, please. All right, let's get started, Cancer. Cancer, this deck is called the Wheel of the Year Tarot. There will be an extended reading after this reading that will go deeper into the energies that I pick at the end of the reading. I will also take the scenario and move it out through four different waves of energy or through four different months. All right, so let's go ahead and first get into this reading and see what the story is. We're looking at a group of Cancer people who are, and we have the Nine of Wands in the reverse, the Seven of Cups, in the upright, this is a yin energy, so it is moving clockwise. So it is moving into the upright. And we have the Queen of Wands in the upright and the Ten of Cups in the upright. Well, I think what this tells me is there's a group of Cancer people here that are kind of surrendering into something. They are kind of letting something happen. They're stepping into something new. They're not really sure where it's going to take them but they're letting it begin. They're letting something begin or they're letting themselves step just a little bit farther into, into some new experience or it could be a new job. It could be a new um, a romantic situation. It could be a new family situation, but this group of cancer people are allowing themselves to step just a little bit further into something because this is a queen of wands energy. This is a, uh, a yang energy. Well, it is a yin it is an energy of, of um, it is a feminine energy. It is a fueling up energy. It is understanding what your values are. It's understanding what your value is. It's understanding your own superpowers. It's managing your weaknesses. It's understanding your beauty. It's seeing your own beauty, feeling the sensuality of, of life. This is a fueling up energy. It's like before you go out for the evening, you get yourself dressed, 
You find the outfit that feels the best on you, that looks the best with your coloring, that fits your mood, that fits your vivaciousness. You apply whatever you're wearing on your face, if it's makeup or if you are, if you, it doesn't matter what gender you are. You're doing, you're preparing. You're preparing to move forward. You, you, it's a preparing, it's a fueling up kind of energy, the Queen of Wands energy. It's getting yourself revved up. It's like before the airplane, the, the, the passenger jet takes off into the skies. It, it revs its engine to a certain, um, and I don't know that much about it. I just am talking, but it revs its engine to a certain point to establish capacity or whatever it does. If there's pilots or people that work with airplanes, you're probably laughing at me right now. It's ridiculous. I know to be talking about it, but that's what they're showing me. It's like a revving of the engines here. You know, you have, you know, you have confidence. It's a confidence issue because you see, this is a kind of a new energy. I'm kind of in it. When I'm getting in this energy, you might feel a little bit of stumbling. You might feel a little vulnerability when you're in this energy, but you know, your capacities, you honestly do. You have been through a lot. You know that you can step into this. And if you need to, you could step aside. You can step backwards, you can step aside, you can turn a different direction. You know you can. You've done it before. You've stopped something before. You've changed something before. It is not a it is not an error to adapt. It's not an error to fle be flexible. It's not an error to change course. When we have justification, when we have a rationale for it, we can change our lives. We don't have to stick with a certain pathway if it doesn't feel good. If it's not good for us, if it's not healthy for us, we don't have to stick to a certain pathway. And I think this is a Queen of Wands person here who understands that. And whether they are a man or woman, they're getting revved up, they're getting fueled up for some po new possibility that they are stepping into. Now it's a possibility because the Seven of Cups is talking about possibilities, right? Options of possibilities. It is a possibility. So I feel like there's a, there is a lack of attachment, which I really like. I really like that. I really like the nine of wands in a reverse with a seven of cups leaning on top of it. That tells me that you're not super attached to the outcome. And that's a very healthy way to step into something. There's a lack of neediness when we are attached to the outcome, especially when we begin something and we become attached to the outcome, it tells us that we're clinging to it. We're hanging on to it. We're needing it. This is an energy of vivaciousness. This is an energy of strength. You're stepping into this um, understanding that you don't have a need for it. You would have an enjoyment of it, and it might be something that would really build into your life, but you don't have an absolute need of it. It's an unattached energy, which is bringing in health and vitality into your path. We have the Seven of Cups here, which is the understanding and the desire to move towards this happiness and bliss. But I like that it's a Queen of Wands. This tells me that you understand intuitively what is healthy for you, what is good for you, and what helps fuel your flame. Ten of Cups is here. So there is um, an ultimate goal here of happiness. You could be feeling happy right now. You could be feeling a lot of bliss and joy. You can be feeling um, celebratory energy. You could be feeling a peacefulness within yourself. Ten of Cups with the Queen of Wands is this is a fueling up energy, moving into an emotional, happy space. So this is a group of cancer people that are stepping forward, letting loose of something and stepping into some sort of new um um, some kind of new experience that they are not attached to, they're excited about, and they're moving towards their goal of creating this Ten of Cups in their life. I think they've already found a certain element of the Ten of Cups as well, because they're standing next to it. They know the feeling of the Ten of Cups. They know what joy and peace is and happiness. And I think they found it themselves. That's why they're they're stepping forward in an unattached way, because they've already found it they're just trying to add to it. They're trying to explore within this Ten of Cups energy. Okay, let's go ahead and move into the next incoming period of time. The next incoming period of time. So this is what we're looking at. The only card I've seen is the Death energy, which doesn't surprise me at all. All right, we have a Knight of Cups energy. Knight of Cups energy here. 
Ten of Pentacles energy. Beautiful. Ten of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. Interesting. Now we have the Nine of Swords over the top. Five of Swords over the top. Star energy over the Death energy. Wow, Cancer. So we have the Knight of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Death energy, Nine of Swords, Five of Swords, the Star energy. <clears throat> okay, let me get into this. Well, I think this next period of time is going to be longer than several weeks. I think it's going to be maybe a month or two. That's how I'm feeling. There's, there, there is some action here. There's some energy that's moving. There's an energy that's moving towards you. And then you have energy of cutting yourself away from something. So that tells me that there's going to be some sort of movement here. There's going to probably be some purging. We have an energy of love. Now, it doesn't have to be romantic love. For some of you, this is romantic love. For others of you, this is moving forward in an energy of love, in an energy of love, compassion, and caring, right? If we think of the four movements of energy that we have, we have the Knight of Pentacles energy, which is a slow, grounded analysis type of energy. It's a stable energy. We have the Knight of Wands, which is a whirlwind type, enthusiastic energy. We have the Knight of Swords, which is a truth um, forward moving truth expression energy and we have the knight of cups which is an energy of love and compassion so there's some sort of energy of love and compassion that's heading your way i feel like it's coming towards you or it's meeting you i know cancer that none of us can afford to stay still staying still in our lives does not bring change moving through life and not changing anything in the way that we do things does not bring change so when the fact is that I say when the energy of the cups is Knight of Cups is moving towards you, I'm expecting that you are also taking action. I don't see you sitting back. I don't see it. There's too much movement here. There's too much transformation. And somebody who goes through transformation does not sit still. You might rest. You might go into healing. Um, but there's always forward movement. Healing is forward movement. We can't move forward without true healing. Healing is forward movement, but not changing what we're doing and not understanding new depths within ourselves and not seeing the truth of things that doesn't bring this kind of change. So this is a group of change makers, right? This is a group of, of trailblazers. So there's an energy of love that's coming to meet you here. Now, this is worrisome to you with the Nine of Swords because of the Ten of Pentacles. So you have reached some kind of new um, safety and security in your own. And, I, and we had the Ten of Cups in the, in the current energy. So you have a, an energy around you, Cancer, of feeling safe and secure um, and finding your own peace and happiness. So there is something here that can be at stake. You could be worried about this energy of love and how it will impact your life, what you know, what answers, what, what solutions you should come up with, what st strategies you should put into place. This is an energy of apprehension, an energy of tentativeness, an energy of hesitation. And I felt that even in the current energy, there's an energy of hesitation. Even the words that I say, I'm hesitating at saying the words. So there's a hesitation energy, nine of swords. This could be really keeping you up at night. Whatever this is, this could even be a job, right? It's But it's an energy of love. It's an energy of love and compassion. It warms your heart. It brings inspiration into your life. Could be in the energy of a child. Something's happening um, with a child coming in. It's an energy that is surrounded with love. It's surrounded with love and kindness and warmth. Somehow, though, this could be a Pisces um, energy or Scorpio or another Cancer energy. Somehow, though, it's worrying you. It's worrying you. It's 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 having you. It's you're worried about it eroding away your safety and your comfort and maybe even financial stability that you have for yourself. 
So whatever this is, you're, you're unsure if this energy of love is going to um, affect the way you feel in your life as far as um, being stable, having financial stability, having comfort, um, having a long-term um, future of abundance and continued growth. So whoever this is, is coming in, whether for some reason, either you have had trauma in the past, or this might be a person that you've already known that has brought um, some kind of worry or some kind of, you know, harm or, or hurt into your um, financial situation or into your long-term stability. Whatever it is, you have some worry here. Now, I don't think it's anyone new. I mean, I don't think it's really anyone old because I do have in the um, in the guidance, which you can't see, but I have the page of cups sitting here looking at me. So for many of you, this is someone new. If you have a knight of cups in your past, I, sometimes I see comments from people um, in the in the comment section saying, you know, that Scorpio lover, you know, that person traumatized me. And I, I know I've had that in my past too, but we must allow for something new. If we immediately fall upon the, the past and assume that this is an energy from the past and it and it will carry an energy from the past, um, even if this is a new person, sometimes we can overlay the energy of the past onto a new person. We have to be careful that we don't overlay a new energy with an old energy, right? It's like you buy a new bed, you buy a brand new bed, brand new from the store, brand new mattress, and over the top of it, you put old sheets that have um, memories on within the sheets that are from the old life that you once had. It doesn't really work. It brings an energy of um, the old into something that could be fresh and new. That's how I feel this could, this for some of you, this could be feeling. It's an energy of hesitation and vulnerability here. Because you have reached this 10, these 10s energy. And I don't mean that you have to be making billions of dollars or making a lot more money. This is a feeling. A lot of times it's a feeling. When do you feel safe and secure? And when do you feel financially abundant? Right? Is it with somebody who overspends and is spontaneous and brings trauma and hurt and devastation into your life? No. It's when you have found this Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, when you have found this happiness and peacefulness in your everyday life. That can be the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. It doesn't have to be um, winning the lottery. It can just be feeling stable and secure and having a long-term vision and feeling comfortable in that so that you can relax and enjoy a life. So you're afraid somehow that this relaxation and enjoyment of life is going to be affected by this new arrival, this new energy that's coming in. Because we do see the Ace of Cups here. Right there, there is some new inspiration here. There's a there's a new love energy. It could be a new person coming in saying, you know, I really care for you. I really want to give this a try. I really want to step onto this pathway with you. Could be a new job, something that you've really wanted and been dreaming of for some time. Could be a new position opening up that would really inspire you and bring your heart back to life again. Would bring healing and self love and self-awareness and self-help, self-health into your, into your experience. Ace of Cups doesn't always have to be new romantic love. It can be new um, wellness that you are taking care of yourself in a different way. There is a Five of Swords energy here. And I'm gonna ask for another energy. For this five of swords because i think this has something to do with the past i think this is talking about healthy selfishness and the uncomfortable feelings that come with healthy selfishness making decisions in your own best interest and sometimes that is not in the interest of others and other people do not like that All right. 
We have the we have the Princess of Pentacles in the upright with the Page of Wands that fell on the floor in the in the reverse. So this is exactly what I'm talking about: making decisions that are premeditated, that are logical, that are rational. that help to fix, see this is a this is a very hesitating energy cancer, that help to build the inner flame, right? You have had to make steps in your life. I don't like this in reverse. I'm going to move it because I don't feel like you're there anymore. I feel like you're in this page of wands. You have a new energy. You have a new excitement about life. You're looking out into the future with a new sense of ferocity and um, vivaciousness in your future. Right. And you've gotten to this place because of the careful and rational and um, steady, consistent choices that you have made for yourself. Page of Pentacles. It has been a slow process. This is energy. It's a slow energy. So while this energy on top, OK, this is what I'm feeling and I'm sweating. So this is something that can be uncomfortable for you. And we do have the death energy here with the star energy. So I'm going to get through this uncomfortable energy and then we're going to focus over here, which is a really fascinating, beautiful energy cancer. This slow energy that I feel, I feel like there's two fronts here. There's something that's happening on the top, on the top of your awareness, which is an energy of love, something new that's coming in that's inspiring you, that's causing you to worry about your safety and security. What's happening underneath, underneath, like in the subconscious, deeper into the conscious mind, not so, not so far up, not so easy to read, not so easy to notice, is this change you've been going through um, about with making decisions that are maybe disappointing for others. They're maybe disappointing for others. It's not really maybe what others had in mind, maybe a supervisor, maybe a parent, maybe a lover, maybe a, yeah, maybe a mother or a father. It's maybe not what they had in mind, but it's something that brought your flame back within you. This is a person who has been diminished because we have the death energy. This is a person who's lost something of significance. They've lost something of significance and they have gained something else, something else back, something else that's much more powerful, much more inspiring, much more about a destiny. So they had to sacrifice something. Whatever it was, these sacrifices came with this five of swords. Sacrifices that we make in our lives. It doesn't have to be like a true sacrifice, like what we think of a sacrifice, like in the olden days. It is something that we have to give up. Whether it's an old way of life, an old way of thinking, old friendships. Sometimes it's even separating from family to a certain degree to allow yourself some freedom could be with culture, with religion, just with a, a belief system within a group of people, whatever it is, your flame was diminished because this page of so this page of wands was in the reverse, the page of wands. That tells me that there was a feeling of being old, old energy, feeling old, feeling tired, feeling wiped out. And you have slowly, slowly and securely here with the page of pentacles have brought change into your life. And I think that has to do with stability, stability of finances, stability of self, stability of material resources in your world. Because look how this is kind of over the top of the Ten of Pentacles now. And you're seeing indications of success here. You're seeing indications of success. Maybe a, not a brand new reality, but you're starting to see things come together. You're starting to feel like it's working. And with the Page of Pentacles, you're seeing something some kind of indications that you can touch, feel, see something in real life. And you've had to really fight for this with the five of swords. Some of these battles could have felt, felt petty to you. Like, why do I have to do this? Why do I have to do, make these decisions? Why can't I just move forward the way I want? Sometimes it's not like that. Sometimes we have to really cut ourselves away from something. We have to detach. And sometimes detaching can feel very uncomfortable. Five of Swords. All right. So, so now with this energy gone, I'm going to 
pack up these cards and I'm going to just look at these energies. Now, did you notice how the energy changed? Okay, so I think in a way it's going to be necessary now for this group of people to kind of detach even from their own emotions and look at the situation from an outside perspective. Look at it from an outside perspective. Look at it as, um, you know, I don't know, an angel would look at it. Look at it as somebody with a totally different perspective would look at it. Because what I see here is new inspiration, new love. New inspiration, new love. Really beautiful. Ace of Cups. I see destiny. I see empowerment. I see transparency. I see reaching for the stars and connecting with the stars. Healing in a grand and empowering way. And we don't get the star energy from just non-movement. We get it from healing. We get it from digging deep. We get it from releasing our truth. We get it from disclosing the fine print of who we are, the fine print, not the letters that you've always placed in front of you, but the fine print and blowing the fine print up so everyone can see what it is. And I don't necessarily mean by saying it, but by being who you truly are, who you truly are inside. And when we have the death energy, this is an energy. We have Aquarius here. We have Scorpio here. This is an energy um, of really making a major change in your life because of something that you had to go through in the past and what you had to give up. What you had to give up hurt. It hurt cancer. It hurt. It really did. That's what the death energy, it comes with pain. It comes with struggle. It could have even been death in your life. Somebody died. Somebody passed on. Right? It doesn't even have to be change that you created. It could have been change that came into your life because of someone else or because of something else that happened that affected you in a major way. But always with the death energy, there comes a major loss. And with a major loss comes an opening now for some sort of new truth to come forward. Loss and change always brings new truth in. Here we have the star energy. So this no matter what you decide here, no matter what you do, you have destiny here, you have healing here, you have empowerment, you have change, you have trans, you have trans, transporting, it's like a transportation, transporting, that's what I'm seeing. It's a transportation, it's a transmutation, it's a moving from one place and moving to another. It's moving to a different place moving to a different lifestyle, a different belief system, a different relationship, a different version of yourself. But it has an energy of movement. Movement. And I don't necessarily mean on a train, plane, or automobile. I mean the soul can move. The, the, the energy within the soul can move. The, 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 the energy within the mind can can transmute itself into a whole completely different way of thinking and different way of being. This is about awakening, expansion, empowerment, enlightenment. It's beautiful energy. And yes, it's awkward and uncomfortable. But look what we have here. These are power plays. Don't get too down on yourself, Cancer. You've been through a lot. Be compassionate for yourself. Give yourself time. You can go slow. You can make your own choices. You can be flexible. You can change your path. You can dip your toe in and then pull it back out if you would like. That's your right as a human being living in this human experience. But what I see here is major accomplishments cancer major accomplishments taking out all the roughage taking out all the vulnerability and the awkwardness what i see here are some blue ribbons first place gold stars honorable mentions vip first place gold medal all of these energies are here because of this and this you now have this. All right, let's see what the guidance is for you.
temperance. That's just what I was saying. Be compassionate. Empress, beautiful. Five of Cups, Prince of Cups. Yeah. We have temperance energy here, which is the energy of patience, compassion, understanding that these things can take time, right? Everything takes time, especially when we go through something so big as the, the, um, the death energy and the star energy. It takes time to heal. It takes time to grow to our full capacity. Be patient with yourself. Be understanding with yourself. Be understanding with others. Understand that just as you have gone through a time of transformation, others are also. We're all going through transformational times, and we should be uh, understanding of that. But first and foremost, it's being compassionate and patience and understanding with your own self, with your own soul, with your, with your own conscious mind, with your own ego. As you change, it takes time and effort to change. It's not something that can happen overnight. It really isn't. Anyone that changes overnight, it's in my experience, that is not something that, that ever happens. There's always back and forth, moving forward, going back just a little, moving forward just a little bit, going back a little, moving forward. That's how it happens. We have to be realistic and we have to be patient with ourselves and nurture ourselves. The Empress energy is a beautiful mater maternal creation energy. This is being balanced in our lives. This is the most powerful feminine energy that there can be. This is being balanced with um, the, the being balanced. Um, here we go with this hesitation. So this Empress energy, you're working on building the Empress energy within yourself. This is understanding how to find clarity with your thoughts. Right? This is allowing that flame within you to be fueled with the Queen of Wands. This is having internal love, love and awareness for yourself so you understand how you're feeling on a daily basis. And I, am I feeling nurtured today? Am I feeling well today? If I'm feeling well and if I'm feeling nurtured, why do I feel that way? What elements are in my life that help me to feel this way? And if you're not feeling nurtured, if you're not feeling love, if you're not caring for yourself as well as you, as you could, why? What are the stressors in your environment that are inhibiting you to take, make the right decisions and make the best decisions for your own wellness? This is being self-aware about the environment around you and how it impacts your internal self. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles, which is practicality being practical about life and taking con consistent efforts and making consistent changes on a day-to-day -day basis in a way that brings improvement. So this talks about all four of these elements and being in balance with these elements as an Empress energy. This is an energy of mother earth, the maternal energy of creation. It's an energy of love because remember the Empress is a warrior. She's a warrior and she's powerful. But instead of fighting with a sword, she fights with love. She fights with nourishment. She fights with understanding and resolution. She's a powerful creature. We do have the Five of Cups next to the Prince of Cups. So there have been elements in your past here that have kept you in, in a space of turmoil and pain. So we have a Five of Cups. This is talking about healing from past situations. And then we have something new coming in with the, with the Prince of Cups some new inspiration, some new introduction, a new love energy that's here. Maybe it's something that's happening with a child or something that's happening with a new romantic offer. But there is a new energy of love here, a new energy of renewal and a new energy of inspiration. But there is a five of cups. So this is that awkward energy of moving from the five of cups, the pain of the past and moving into a new situation and allowing that to happen knowing that you can always pull back, that you can always change. You don't have to stay in a situation. You're going to be careful, right? You're going to give yourself time. You're going to move forward carefully, but you're not going to block anything. You can, if you're going to block it, you're going to consciously turn it off. You're going to consciously move away from it. You're going to do that intentionally and not from a reaction, right? A reaction would be something that you do unconsciously 
that you don't realize you're doing because of some past pain or trigger. So I think that there's this awareness here. There definitely is an awareness here because we have the Empress energy that tells me there's, there's an awareness about the Five of Cups and an awareness about the Page of Cups. And I think that means a beautiful experience, a beautiful experience. And I can't really tell you right now what the end result of that experience is, but I can tell you that you're okay with stepping into it, not knowing, because you have this strength now and this awareness that you can change. You can dip your toe in and you can pull it back out that you already have this sense of peace and happiness and you don't want to jeopardize that with, with any um, being being careless about the progress that you have made. But I do see you dipping your toe into whatever this is and allow yourself to begin to enjoy it. Okay, let me pick out the energies here that I want to dig deeper into in the extended. Well, I want to dig deeper into the Ten of Cups. I want to dig deeper into this page of cups to see what this is. I want to dig deeper into this knight of cups to see what this energy is. And then we have this ace of cups here, this love energy. So I'm going to dig into these four energies right here in the extended. I'm going to dig into the ten of cups, the page of cups, the knight of cups, and the ace of cups. And then I'll take this situation and move it out through four sets of energies, or if you want to call it four months, although um, I really hesitate to put it in that time frame, although I think it helps people to understand, or we could be looking at the next five or the next four waves of energy. All right, so that's what I'll do in the extended. Anyone interested can join me there. Otherwise, um, if you're satisfied with this reading, that makes me really happy. Thank you very much for being here. Cancer is always a pleasure to read for you. Thank you.